Hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording. I'm Justin, this is Fox and Robin, and let's get on with today's video. Okay, and you may have been wondering what is going on in our studio here. We've got speakers everywhere, and we've got different computers, and different operating systems, and microphones, and you may have seen clips of us, like we've got a new subwoofer, which was our last video, so go check that one out. Also, we've got uh, Atmos going on, and that's been kind of our content lately. Uh, we've got amplifiers, which we're not gonna review because it's the same one we reviewed a long time ago. Go check it out. It's the one on our, our Blues Deluxe. I think that's the one we did it on. I'm pretty sure it was the Fender Blues Deluxe. Uh, you guys love that video, so go check that one out too. We've been doing some updates here in the studio. Have you noticed we've got Atmos, which we're almost done. We're really excited to show you once it is done. We've got speakers basically all the way around. I got some behind me here. I got some in front of me. I got some above me that you can't see, but we'll do a try to do some kind of 360 video of that. And you know, it's that's what it's gonna be. It's coffee time. That's, it's always coffee time here in the studio. Anyways, as I was saying, all the updates and stuff, we have kind of gone through this journey of DAWs. We've gone from one to the next to the other, and we've landed on one. The one we have landed on is Pro Tools. Shocking, I know. Uh, basically, we have gone from Logic to do Atmos and Logic to the middle here of Studio One. To Pro Tools. Now all three of these can do Atmos. Whether or not that's kind of what we're going for, we are going to give you a little bit of backstory. Uh, started out years and years ago when we started out doing recording and stuff, it was Pro Tools. We used Pro Tools all the way through from kind of the beginning to the end of all of our products that we did. We kind of gave people bands that we mixed, podcasts we did, everything that we did was all done in Pro Tools. And kind of got tired of it, so we went to Studio One for a little while and kind of didn't do what we wanted. We wanted to get into Atmos, and this was about four years ago. We wanted to get into Atmos, and Atmos in Studio One wasn't there yet. I'm sure they were working on it, but it wasn't there in the software yet. Uh, Logic didn't quite have it, but they were definitely like giving you snippets of what it was going to be. So then as we're moving on, we, you know, we kind of left Pro Tools off to the side here. We still had a copy. We'd pull it up every so often for old sessions, but we never really used it like we were using it before. So now come along Pro Tools and I think it was December, they come along and they put the Atmos render right inside the software, just like everybody else is doing, which is great. They, they kind of come up with the times a little bit or they're putting things into the software that others have been kind of doing, you know, kind of just to be on top with everybody else, which is great for their software. Uh, for us, we were like, that's awesome. But we're in Studio One. You may have seen our Atmos video on it. We decided instead of that, we're gonna keep Studio One. It has some features that we like, some stuff that we might use it for maybe mastering, maybe podcasting, I don't know. I haven't quite figured that one out, but we have Pro Tools now, and we're gonna be, once again, a full-fledged Pro Tools room, and hopefully, eventually, a full-fledged Dolby Atmos room. So we'll have Pro Tools into Dolby Atmos and do all your mixes for you guys in stereo and immersive right out the gate. Which, if you are, go check out some ads we've got. Our intern, we're gonna call him T. Uh, he's got a very long name, but we're going to call him T for the sake of the video time here. He's running some ads for us that are on Facebook, and I think they're on Google as well. They're in a few places, and I can't remember them all. He's doing that all for us, and go check him out if you're curious. Also, if you're curious, just drop us an email at our website. Uh, we love talking with people, or comment to this video. That's another option. So anyways... That's kind of where we are. It's a little bit of an update of the studio. We are super, super close with the Atmos stuff. We've got basically to hook up audio outputs to each one, which I need to open up Pro Tools and look at which one has the audio outputs, basically which speaker goes where. I haven't looked, I could plug them in right now and kind of get a good reading on where everything's working. And we have done that. We've plugged everything in. It's all working perfectly. We just need to assign our outputs now. But once, 
we get that done, we'll do kind of a tour. Also, new things coming to the channel, check out uh, some tour videos we're gonna be doing of other people's studios in the Northern Colorado area. We're trying to kind of get that ball rolling a little bit. And you know, go check out our other videos and hit the like and subscribe. We uh, appreciate those who hit the like and subscribe. We love it. Hit that like, hit that scribe, you know, that scribe, that subscribe button, you know, the bell notification, do whatever you want with it. Um, if you want to get notifications from us, hit that bell, but definitely hit the like and subscribe and go make some music and we'll see you next time.